All right, everybody, I'm excited for today's video. Finally going to be getting started on the electronic series I've been wanting to do. So here I've got a old prototype board that was made by Radio Shack. This thing is awesome. Uh, it really gets you into understanding electronic fundamentals. It's a fun kit to experiment on. You have all the basic components. It's easy to toy around with, design circuits, quickly change circuits. But they don't make it anymore, obviously. So my goal is to kind of reverse engineer this prototype kit and make one at home that you guys can follow along with. As you can see, this lab kit is going for over $100 on eBay. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, it requires six AA batteries. Um, here's all the components that it came with. I'm going to make a list of all this later. But I'm just putting this out there for documentation's sake. Um, check this out real quick. This is a video of me just showing how quickly it is, uh, how quickly you can just experiment and have fun and build circuits on this thing. So it uses springs for the wires. So as you can see, I'm hooked up to the transformer. And just like that, I just changed it from a transformer to an LED. Oh, I want to change the voltage. All right, let's jump that over here. And it's, it's that easy. It's that quick. Awesome. So yeah, the, the real gold of this whole kit is the books. It covers the fundamentals, but how it's laid out. The handwritten format, how the schematics are all hand drawn and written. And it's not just for beginners. It starts at a beginner level, but it builds up as it teaches you about the components. The whole first book is analog, and then the second book gets into more digital and it gets pretty complex. So I just wanted to go over real quick about the author, Forrest Mims III. Um, I wanna give credit where credit is due. Don't think I invented these circuits or anything like that. This is all you know, we want to look this guy up. Uh, real quick, he graduated from Texas A&M University in 66. He majored in government and minored in English. And then he went on to serve in the Air Force. And then here he is publishing electronics books. I love that. You know, he's a jack of all trades, which is literally what I played on the channels called Steel of All Trades. I like to dabble in a little bit of everything. So this guy is inspiring already to me. So you can see his books sold over seven and a half million copies. And, and um, as we go over them, you'll understand why. Uh, if you want, just Wikipedia, you can learn more about him. Here it kind of gives a little more detail about how he hand drew and hand wrote all these books and how much they sold and whatnot. Um, so yeah, while the prototyping board is cool, uh, the books, to me, are where the gold is at. These books... Uh, as I say, it was published in, you know, the 70s, and they're still being used. They taught the fundamentals to our engineers today that are now senior engineers. They are teaching younger 
generations of technicians and engineers. So I just kind of want to spread that information out there. Electronics haven't changed. Um, so I want to re-get that information out there, uh, help other people have access to all of this. But I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm also going to simulate all of these circuits. Why, you ask? I think it's awesome to know how to use simulation software. Um, you know, as you can see, I, I, I use uh, Multisim, which is made by uh, National Instrument. Uh, it goes from basic to your more advanced components. Uh, so when we're prototyping on these boards and something's not working out, you know, you can refer back to the simulation and be like, okay, I'm getting this voltage here and this current. And then on your prototype, you're not. So why am I not? And then you can find out Oh, I have a faulty component. Oh, this component's installed backwards, you know. It helps. It's good for safety practices, but, um, you know, I'm just getting the gist of everything out there. I'm excited to start this series with you guys. Uh, hopefully we can do it for a very low budget. And uh, I'm going to be using this MIBS book starting from the beginning and hopefully we can do it cheaper so you so anybody can get started all right peace out